Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Kimoni underscore Kenya Daily Vlogs. Let's get started. President Uru Kenyatta yesterday announced the extension of dawn to dusk curfew, which means we will be indoors for the next 21 days. So the nationwide dusk to dawn curfew that is currently in force will be extended for a further period of 21 days up to and until the 6th of June 2020. Did you know that the floods ravaging across the country has claimed more lives than COVID-19 with over 300 people dead and more than 800,000 people displaced since the start of the flood? From above, the extent of the damage by flood waters is clearer. Same script of misery in every rainy season. Mudslides and landslides, loss of lives and destruction of property. Unfortunately, it is almost certain that thousands of families as is currently the case in 33 counties ravaged by floods. Cabinet Secretary for Devolution Eugene Wamalwa told the public to move to safer grounds. The flooding situation in the country continues to worsen as the rains continue, as our experts have projected. These rains will go into June. To attack our to endele ku hamia pahala salama sababu mvua bado inaendelea. Na inaweza leta madara zaidi. Reggae that earlier seemed to have stopped has been played again by the famous mix master Raila Amolo Odinga. He said uh, yesterday that reggae, reggae will continue. It's in half time. But the corona, reggae, and the kunguruma. Nobody can stop reggae. Yo, for the first time, Kenya has refused to accept foreign aid. This is after G20 organization had offered to help the country in this COVID-19 pandemic. And Kenya has rejected a G20 debt relief initiative, which seeks to help poor nations weather the COVID-19 pandemic. The National Treasury Cabinet Secretary, Ukur Yatani, made the revelation in an interview with Reuters, saying the terms of the deal could limit the country's access to international capital markets and consequently hinder its ability to finance its deficit later in the year. Ladies and gentlemen, you can run, but you can never hide. Rwandanese most wanted criminal Felician Kabuga has been arrested in France. I know you don't know who is Felician Kabuga, but I know you are aware of the Rwanda genocide which claimed lives of over one million Huts, Tutsi and Twa tribes of Rwanda. Check this out. 80 year old multi millionaire Felician Kabuga has been on the run for 26 years. In this statement, tribunal officials at the International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals confirmed that the most wanted man in Rwanda has now been captured. Kabuga, who is highly implicated in the Rwandan genocide of 1994, was arrested by French police in what the tribunal described as a coordinated operation with simultaneous searches across a number of locations. Kabuga was arrested on Saturday morning at a flat in Paris, living under a false identity. The tribunal's chief prosecutor celebrated Kabuga's arrest, terming it a reminder that those responsible for the genocide can be brought to account even 26 years later. While the rest of the world is panicking on how to contain the COVID-19, United States of America President Donald Trump is saying that he is going to reopen United States with or without he made the one vaccine. thing clear. He's ready guy. to reopen the country even without a medical breakthrough. I just want to make something clear. It's very important. Vaccine or no vaccine, we're back. And we're starting the process. When you test, you have a case. When you test, you find something is wrong with people. If we didn't do any testing, we would have very few cases. They don't want to write that. It's common sense. The president returned to his argument that schools like should reopen in the fall, yeah, but without older teachers. Mr. Trump didn't sound concerned students could bring the virus home to their families. I don't think that you should have 70-year-old uh, teachers back yet. They should wait till everything is gone. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share and see you next time. Thank you.